Today in Toronto, a demonstration with a difference. People marched in defense of a woman's right to dress any way she wants. Although that's not quite how they phrased it. Here's Melanie Nagy on the city's first slut walk. Showing a little skin. Some say sexy, others say it's asking for trouble. Sierra Harris and Maggie Ivasekel are proud to call their look slutty. I strongly believe in women's sexuality. I think that I can dress in a thong and some tights, or maybe not wear any underwear when I'm wearing a skirt, and that not be a consent for me to get raped. Turns out, Harris and Ivasekel aren't alone. Close to 2,000 people gathered in downtown Toronto today for the city's first slut walk. Slut is where we're using it. We're using it to, to take its power away from it harming us and damaging us and telling us that we're less worth it, that we're less deserving of protection and respect. The march is a response to controversial comments made by a Toronto police officer. In January, the male officer was invited to speak at York University about personal safety. During the talk, he said that women should avoid dressing like sluts in order not to be victimized. He felt that he had the right and was, and was not confronted by his partner when he said that. So I think we have to presume that that does represent a significant attitude on the part of members of the Toronto Police Service. As for the Toronto Police Department, it says the officer's comments were unacceptable and clashed with how members are trained. Our training includes sensitivity training. We've increased the amount of time our officers and investigators um, are exposed to training in, in relation to sexual assault investigations. The Toronto police officer later apologized and said he was embarrassed by his remarks. But as you can see around me, that's done little to make the controversy go away. And in fact, organizers of this march say it's only the beginning. In the coming weeks, there'll be more marches like this right across the country. Melanie Nagy, CBC News, Toronto.